What do you want to be when you grow up? You're probably saying, I already am grown up. But you're never too old to have dreams or goals. It doesn't matter if you're 70, if you're 80, if you're 90. As long as you are breathing, as long as you can get up each day, you can have dreams and you can have goals. They can be big or small. Uh, and when I think about my own family, fortunately we've had longevity in our family. When I look at my aunts and my uncles and my own dad, who lived well into their late 80s and early 90s, they were still setting goals for themselves in their late 80s. So like I said, we're never too old. In this course, I'm going to cover the difference between a dream and a goal, which I'm gonna share with you in this video. Then laying the foundation before writing a goal and a plan. We're gonna talk about what are the foundational things you need to think about, such as considering your values and what's important to you. We are gonna focus on the importance of detailing a goal. Some people get detailing their goal confused with the action steps. Mapping out your plan, monitoring your plan, you know, you have to monitor it, you have to track your progress, anticipating barriers and overcoming obstacles. That is one of my favorite pieces of goal setting. Capitalizing on resources, and staying on the journey. You know, how do we stay excited? How do we stay motivated when life happens or we just lose that enthusiasm? I'm going to teach you a process. Once you learn a process, you can apply it to your personal goals or your professional goals, to one year goals, three year, five year, 10 years. It doesn't matter. It's a process you walk through. You can apply it to the different facets of your life. I call them the five pillars, career, family, financial, spiritual, and wellness. Um, and I was fortunate to learn this over 30 years ago. So I thought I was good at setting goals and achieving you know, my dreams. But it was later in life that I learned the actual process. And once I started applying it, I saw greater success and also not giving up. I learned how to not give up on my goals and my dreams. And then over the years, I've crafted that and have made it even better. So I can't wait to share my ideas and my strategies and the process with you. In this video right now, I just want to clarify the difference between dreams and goals because sometimes we interchange them. Maybe we think they're the same thing, but they're not. So first, dreams occupy your mind and your heart. Goals take over your reality. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, right? Dreams are in our mind and in our heart. But when it becomes that goal, now it starts to become reality. This is interesting. I found this on the internet. Dreams can't be achieved. They can only be realized. You realize your dreams by creating goals around each one of your dreams and then pursue each goal by taking action. A dream equals some future outcome a goal is some future action. And last, dreams provide you with the vision of where you want to go. They're your blueprint for your future life. Goals are your construction team. I love that. They're the workers that help transform your dreams into reality.